to the, to the Gabba as Michael Nisa comes to bowl the first ball of the, of the run chase, and it will be. And Tom Rogers hits it back down the ground for a single. So the news Sam from out from out in the middle was that the Brisbane Heat won the bat flip, elected the bat first, made a dynamite start with Kawaja and Munro, and Kawaja went on to score a very classy 92. And finished on three for one, uh, three for 186, which leaves the stars to require 187. See in the bottom left of your screen, 187 runs to win. Oh, really good! Oh, really good bowling there from Michael Neeser. 141 Ks swinging away from Sam Harper. Oh, over the top! This could be, this could go for six of the yes, it is. First six of the innings, and and not surprisingly, it was from Sam Harper, just like it was when Kawaja's six in the in the Brisbane Heat innings. See, there's Marnus, mate. Uh, uh, just wonder if he's going to roll the arm out at some, at some point in this innings, possibly. Nice of the last ball. Oh, he's over, and it's just going to be whacked straight to Usman Kawaja in the covers. And it's the end of the over, end of the first over, and it's nine about loss after the, fir after the first over. Decent first over there, as you can see, here's Xavier, Bar Xavier Bartlett, who no who that, that, but looks nothing like Xavier Bartlett, <laughs> comes on for the, for the second over into Tom Rogers. And over the top he goes, that, and that will be for uh, it's a brilliant shot over the covers by Tom Rogers. Yeah, yeah, that's it. Wave, wave, wave that hand, that, that hand, Ross. So, Tom Rogers facing up to Bartlett as he works to the leg side. And all right, now we're going to come back for two, but but the side against against that. See, there's Kawaja in the field. I don't still. I said at the toss. I don't know why he's wearing shades on a, 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 in a night game, but still. Oh, very good bowling there from Xavier Bartlett. Out wide outside the off stump, but Harper swings and misses. There he goes, knocks it. Sam Harper knocks it back down the ground. So, and, uh, and hooks it. Past the man at fine legs, it yet yeah, uh, hooks it past the man at fine leg. It'll be four. You see from the helmet cam, really good shot that one from Sam Harper. As Kawaja, as more fielding changes, here comes, and it's gonna go through. Could it be four, maybe? Nisa's after it, and he does. When now, be careful of Nisa with the high catches, with the catches, because uh, as we all know, he's a dynamite when it when it comes to when it comes to catches. He's produced some beauties in the past. As the stars end at none for twenty after two overs. His niece, speak of Nisa, here he's again for his second over. Or oh, honing in on the stumps there, at earning under the pad to Tom Rogers, which ends in a dot ball. 
Here he comes again to Rogers. This time outside your stump, but covered off there in the covers, but covered off there by Marnus Lamashane. And it was only for a single anyway, so Harper face up to Nisa. Really, really well there, as you can see here, halfway through, second over. None for 10 for Michael Nisa. Yep. And whacked over top there from Sam Harper. That will be four. That will be four for Sam Harper. That is really good shot over the covers. He's played very aggressively in the early part of his innings of Sam Harper. He's on to, I think, 18, I believe. Yeah, he's on to 18 from 11. As he whacks it down the ground, it will be picked up by Lyle Shane and be wicket. Last ball, the third over. Harper to Nisa. And it goes straight to the man in the covers, which I think was Cole Munro. And then the over. It is number 25 from three overs for the Melbourne Stars. As, it's, as Xavier Bartlett comes on. Yep. And edged. I think edged there, but flies straight, to the, straight down to deep third man. And it will be only just a single at the end of the day. So, Bartlett into half up, and it just goes away down the leg side, but it will be, cut off our finger will be for a single that is. So, half up looking very impressive, looking impressive for his 19 or 14, two fours and a six to go with it. In he comes again. Oh, it's a big shot from Tom Rogers. Not going to be six, but it'll be one bounce four nonetheless. Really good shot that from from Tom Rogers. Points to everybody and says, everyone says, I'm capable of those type of shots because I'm Tom Rogers. What's Bartlett got in response to that uh, to that boundary? Yep. It's it straight down the ground there. It'll be fielded there. So uh -oh. Tom Rogers there, thirteen quick by thirteen from eight. He's hit two fours already in his innings. Let's see what Sam Arkham can do. And, and I wonder this might be a wide here. No, no, it's not. Here we go, last, last ball of the power play. Yep. And it is going to be dealt with, is it for four? Yes, it is. Good, great way to win the power play. With none for 36 from the four over power play. As Nisa comes on for a, for, strangely, for a third over. As another three fielders go outside the ring. It is picked up and fired into to Nisa. Oh, big hit there. And this could be out, is it? And it is, it's out. 
Stan Harper looked good, looked good for his 23. He's now gone. Really good bowling from Michael Nisa. Good captaincy from Kawaja. Keeping Nisa on for a third over. And it has paid off big dividends. Really good catch there by... Strangely enough, strangely enough, it's uh, Kuhneman that's got the, glo got the gloves on. Don't know why he's got the gloves on. And it's Joe Burns. Goes out there. Joe Burns out there. New man out there as it's one in the covers and it will be for a single. Or not, it's two. Then not. Not quick enough there. Put the bales off is Matt Kuhneman for, for some reason. Don't know why he's got the got the got the got the mitts on for some reason. For some reason Sam Billings just get it just can't be can't be stuffed can't, can't be stuffed keeping. So Kuhneman said I'll I'll, I'll I'll have a go and uh, looks okay. He's done okay. He's done it. Taking a catch in this over. Oh, that's here on the pads, and it will be a leg bite. So, so hopefully, yeah, I, I thought about the name. About the rest of your name, also Shamar Jokes. If I, I, if I said that in, in the Brisbane Heat innings, I forgot. I forgot. I forgot his name, but uh, but now I do. Now, now I remember his name. Now, hopefully. Um, hopefully Joe Burn. Uh, hopefully Tom Rogers doesn't. Uh, Tom Rogers' toenail doesn't end up in his ankle. That's the end of the over. There, and it's you know, over the end of the fifth. It's one forty-two. You see there, they keep up with the net with the required run rate here. The Melbourne Stars is. Joe Burns hits out. It hits this one out to deep square leg. Xavier Bartlett to bowl his third over. So I wonder if the bowling change is going to come soon. I wonder. As the cut, the late cut goes goes out to. And that's the man at short third. Bartlett into Tom Rogers. And swings and misses outside the off stump. Really good bowing there from, from Xavier Bartlett. Tom, here we go, Tom Rogers to face Bartlett again. Yep, yep. Over the top she goes. That's going to go for four. That's a bit lucky, but it, but, it, but it all counts. But those ones all count. And it will just a thick top edge, and, it'll, and it flies away to the boundary. The four. Two balls to go in. The sixth over. Oh, over the top she goes. Could it, could it be say No, it's not. So back to back boundaries for Tom Rogers. Moves on to 22 for 14. Like a bit of a slow ball there from Xavier Bartlett. Last ball of the sixth over. Could it be three in a row? No, it won't. It won't be three boundaries in a row for Rogers. He hits it for a dot ball. So at the end of the sixth over, and it's one for fifty-one after uh, after six. So so it's uh, good there. I hope you guys are enjoying enjoy. I hope you guys well as as this. I'm recording this recording this video. Hopefully, uh, well, as this video comes out, hopefully you enjoyed the, the Brisbane Heat innings. As, as, a, as a run out chance here, and and, and it's not uh, not very well gathered by Matthew Kuhneman. 
It was a bit slow in getting the bowels off. Or to gather the ball as Nisa completes his final over. There. So they got a bowl out. Their front line bowlers in the first eight overs. Says, oh, brilliant delivery, 140 clicks from Nisa. He's been very good in this in his bowling spell so far. Mace bowling to Joe Burns. And he'll you know, single here. Might come back for two, maybe. Yes, he does. Really good, really good, feel, really good running from Rogers and Burns. But the crowd, uh, the Pasadena crowd are all uh, all wondering when's the big show going to come out. He's coming out next, and we all know that. But when is he going to come out? As Burns get collects a two, so the last ball of Nisa's spell, yep. and it will be not straight back down the ground. I think for a single. Yep, it will be for a single. So he ends his spell on one for twenty-six from his four overs. Really good, really good bowling spell that from Michael Nisa. I uh, won't be surprised if Xavier Bartlett bowls next over to bowl him out. No. Here's the, finally the first bowling change. It's going to be Mitch Swepson, the leggy. It's going to come on for his for his first over. Yep. Really good. Good start there from, from Swepo as he flexing on his own bowling. A really good Direct hit there from Swepson. Only just the two to start off his spell with. Here we go, Swepson. There it is. And hits out to the man out there as. Gets as, I think. Yeah, it was Burns that collected a single. So Rogers is now back on strike. 22 from 15. It was very good as Tom Rogers. Down the track to Swepson, but it only hits out to the man and the deep, uh, deep long on, which is, I think, Colin Munro. Judging by the number. See, so a, a very good crowd on hand. Here at the Gabba, here at the Gabba, here at the Gabba today. Yep. Burns hits it to the leg side, and it will, and they will come back for two. Yes, they will. Very good, very good running from from these two. So. Burns to face Swepson. Over the top she goes. Could this be out maybe? No, it won't be. Oh, really good fielding there. Saving a certain boundary. And instead of a boundary, it only ends in two. So... Really good here, but Swepson can in with a dot ball. No, he won't. It will end in a single, I think. No, yet, yet a single. So, so yeah. So, so you complete the eighth over. It's one for sixty-seven. As young Spencer Johnson comes on to uh, comes on the bowl. Man, who could bowl easily 140 clicks. As gets a dot ball, gets a dot ball first up. Edge, and it's gonna maybe gonna go for four. Oh, brilliant! Fantastic fielding 
and the deep. No idea who that was, but it was fantastic fielding. Fantastic fielding out there. So almost a certain boundary in the end. Short ball and it's gone straight to oh, I've got the same man. That 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 fantastic fielding the previous over. In the previous ball I should say. So now Spencer Johnson going over the wicket to Tom Rogers. Over covers he goes, but just short on the man out there. Tom Rogers. Here looking long here, so that still need 116 here as he hits. If it was there, oh, and it was <laughs> a bit of friendly fire there between Kawaja and Spencer Johnson. He hitting he's, with Kawaja's throw, hitting, hitting Johnson on the, on the leg. But he's a tough boy, though. He'll be fine. Oh, tries to go to late cut, but it finds the glove of of um, of of keeper, so-called keeper. Matthew Kuhneman as Swepson comes on for his second over. See so the required rate has climbed up to 10.3 as an edge from Joe Burns doesn't go to hand. See Max Bright there encouraging Mitch Swepson. It's an encouragement to Mitch Swepson, I should say. And a hoist the leg by Joe Burns. And they'll come back for two, and they will. They will come back for two. Yeah, so. So he swept and he's bowled pretty well, but uh, but he, he's only had the one dot ball so far in his spell. And that will continue with this one. So that's. A bit of a problem there as Burns does the big dive to get into his crease. I still think Kawaja still looks, still looks weird with those shades on. But anyways, when well, I'm up in night vision, I don't know. Down the track and edge and it might go for four. I think, yes it will. Another bit of luck. This time to Joe Burns. Here it is from from Foxy Rover, and it will just an ins, just an outside edge. That one from Joe Burns, and he wins all the all the 32 from 23. Yep. All over the top, she goes, but just short of the fielder down there. Oh, hesitation, hesitation, but but Matthew Kuhneman just. Was not in the right position at all. You need to be close to the stumps for the run out, but unfortunately, that it, it he wasn't there, and, and stump and stump and the run out wasn't taken. Last ball, the tenth over, and it will be a single. So they end with tenth over with none for one for eighty three. And with them still requiring a further 104 runs to win on the last 10 overs as Spencer Johnson comes back on for his second over. Honing in at the stumps, and, but it's dealt with easily there by Joe Burns. As I said earlier, the, the fans are waiting with vacant breath to see, it, to see the big show, Glenn Maxwell, coming out to bat. As I say he's going to come in next. Bit of a spoiler for all way, but as Joe, as Tom Rogers hooks one in the deep, and it will be a bouncer there. So uh, it goes over the top there. This could will be out. No, it's not. It, and a lot of those tonight, a lot of those in this game have, have, have happened where the ball was falling short as 
the hundred as the fifty partnership comes up between Tom Rogers and Joe Burns. Really, really good partnership building this one. Yep. yep. Leaning edge and not going to find a field up. So I wonder when the power surge for the stars will be taken. I wonder if they're going to take it when Glenn Maxwell comes out the bat. Joe Burns there, 39 from 28. He's only hit the 1-4, which is surprising, but he's scoring regular run, regular 1s and 2s and the odd 3 here and there. Surprisingly enough, he's had a strike rate of 139, but, but he's only hit the 1-4. Tom Rogers, oh, almost, almost finding the fielder, but again, falls short of the fielder. Last ball of the 11th for the Melbourne Stars. They still need a further 98 runs to win. And driven back down the ground, but it'll only be for a single, I think. Oh, very close, but not close enough. And here we go. It is it is the big man himself, long Paul Walter, as I like to call him. Channel 7, the Channel 17 called him Paul Paul. But uh, I call him Long Paul as he gets hit in the deep. And they're going to come back for two, maybe. Yes, they do. So Joe Burns is now on 41 from 30. With only the one boundary to his name. That is surprising. Who's uh, uh, from Joe Burns, the former Australian test opener. Over the top she goes from Joe Burns, but again, gets away with it. And moves on the 43 from 31. So who's going to be the one out of these two that's going to explode to give the Stars a chance in this game? As... It will come back for two. Yes, it will. So very good running in the end from... From these two, as usual. Long, long Paul comes in to Tom Rogers as he hits right over mid wicket and again falls short of the fielder. They'll come back for two and well, yeah, yeah. Well, that's uh, a missed opportunity there. Long Paul should have been should have been at the stumps, but unfortunately, wasn't there. A direct tip, probably it would have been long gone. 115 k per hour ball, that one from from Long Paul. Last ball of his first over and the 12th for the Stars. And it edged that one, but it goes straight to ground. As uh, Colin Munro surprisingly comes on for uh, comes on for a bowl, I, I would presume only for I would, I would presume only for the one over. Presume as Munro almost gets a wicket first ball, but uh, yeah, so a bit of a interesting tactics here from um, from the Bris uh, from the, from Usman Kawaja there bringing on. Colin Munro on the bowl. And it's going to be a fine lead there. Will be four more. Just slightly slightly wide of off stump, and it's been dealt with by Tom Rogers. And there you go. Just abs absolutely dealt with. Absolutely dealt with there as comes in. Yep. Yeah, so we still don't know when the stars are going to take their power surge. They have it. They still have it up their sleeve, but I have a feeling they're going to maybe wait, maybe till Glenn Maxwell comes in and then take it. 
but it might take it before then. Oh, Spice across the line. And it will be fielded out there and fielded back in the deep. So, so yeah, so we. So, so the crowd is still waiting with vacant breath. I think. I think I think that was Burns. A set. It, but, no, I think it was. No, I think it was Tom Rogers that hit the boundary. Yeah, I think it was. Oh, almost, almost the second, a long awaited second boundary for Joey Burns, but three more would have to do to get him on to 49. I think. I think it was three to get him on the 49 from 34. Last ball of. Probably Munro's only over, I think, and hit so uh, over over cover, but uh, still not enough <laughs> to find the man. Is there's a as they end the twop, as they end the I think the twelve no thirteenth over, I should say. At one ball, it's going to continue for another over. And over the top she goes. And and they, could they come back? No. No, it's not gonna be punished. There's not gonna be not gonna be a run out chance as Kuna was a bit slow to gather the ball. It's one 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 for one uh, one for one one one. And it's still gonna be one for one 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 no, it's actually one for one one two. Because he's because Ross just bowled bowled a wide. Got on your Ross for ruining a big thing I had I had had up my sleeve. Oh, very it bowling very it bowling pretty well. His uh, long ball, which doesn't look like long ball to be honest. It looks like he's a bit younger than, than what he actually is. So. Burns on 49. Oh, down the ground. Could this be out, surely? No, no, no just short of the field up. As it is hit out there. As Burns dissects the, uh, sorry, Rogers dissects the field. He's, he currently is on 40 or 30. Cuts it and finds the, the man at, at short third. Two balls to go in in long pulls over. And it's hit for four, I guess. No, no good fielding. Good fielding there and the deep. And it will only be, I think, three, I believe, in the end, I think. So Tom Rogers, very, very good innings so far. Probably the opener. Here we go, Joe Burns on 49. Can he get, can he get to 50? Yes, he does. He, he, he gets... He only gets, I think, and he's coming back for two, just to, just for good measure. But what a 50 it is for Joe Burns. Only the one boundary in that 50 or 35 balls. Strike rate of 145, not bad strike rate for a, for someone who uh, only had one four in his innings. You can see there's the four, which was a, I think it was off an outside edge, I believe. And, and these the others here, just the old three, but the others is ones and twos. One boundary in 50 runs. That's proof that in big bash cricket you don't need the to. It's proof you don't need to. Yes. Yes. Here as Rogers. Yeah. And we'll come back for two. So. So Mun so Munro, strangely enough to bowl another over, surprisingly enough. 
just because Matt Cooterman just wanted to bowl, wanted to do something different instead of bowling left arm spin. He wanted to keep this time, which was uh, a bit strange. So they're close to the hundred partnership here of the Melbourne Stars, but they still they still got a long way to go. As an inside edge, or almost gets chopped onto the stumps, but uh, only finds the gloves of Matt Cooneman. Across the line, that's a, that's a really good shot that from Tom Rogers and brings up his 50 as well. Off just 36 balls, it includes six fours in that innings. Really, uh, really good innings there from Tom Rogers. As I said, he's got still got a long way to go. Keep up, keep up. As there's only going to be a single there. So a bit of it. So a bit of a gamble from Kawaja a couple of overs ago, bringing on a part timer in, in Munro, which Burns hits out to man in the deep, but it'll only be for maybe be for a couple. And. So yeah, as you see, is the is the replay is the highlights of the innings from Tom Rogers. He hits to the leg side, and this one as well, really good late cut for four. That one from Tom Rogers. As you can see here, it is the six fours. Hit, hit a bit of different sides of the ground, around a bit of a late cut, then one over the keeper for four. A few for the covers, and the one through square leg, but not much down the ground. So yeah, so the final, so now we're into the death overs. So that run rate is climbing, has climbed up to 11.2. So they must surely the power surge. Surely the power surge has to be taken soon. They don't have any chance of winning as Rogers finds the gap. It will go for four. So another really good shot from Tom Rogers. As Usman Kawaja makes yet another bowling change, yet another fielding change, I should say. The field and straight down the ground as he chips it down to the man, and and that is the hundred partnership between Rogers and Burns. Really good partnership there between these two. The job's not done yet as. Rogers hits. It's man at the day, but it will. They will come back for two, and they will make it. Make it a bit, e a bit, a uh, think easily in the end. The long pull. To bowl his third over, and a thick edge, but only finds the man at short third. Shorter the man at short third, I should say. So, it's a bit of a batter's, not much doing for the, for the bowlers so far, as Tom Rogers hits one straight to the man out there. So, yep. oh, and good shot. And the deep, and it will come, and they will, oh, they will come back for two, and only just gets there this time from Tom Rogers. You can see the line there, mostly outside the off stump or leg stump, depending on which batsman it was. So Swepson to replace comes on to replace Colin Munro. Forty-six from twenty-four. 
still the power surge has not been taken. So I wonder if they're gonna wait for the wait till wait till the no, wait till the 98 over when it automatically take it takes the power plate. I wonder, or are they gonna take it at the end of this over? We'll find out. Find out in a bit. Down the track and couldn't it couldn't be out? Yes, it is. The the big wicket of Tom Rogers. Big wicket for Mitch Swetson in the Brisbane Heat. Tom Rogers tries to go for one for one boundary too many. And ends it straight down the throat of the man down at down at cover, I believe. Which was long pull. Tom Rogers goes for a very well made 62 for 44. And in comes the big show. Glenn Maxwell. Comes in, it comes in. But we'll have to wait to face his first ball though. Yep. As Joe Burns said, oh, they could come back for two here, and, and they do make it easily. Make the two easily as. As Burns was having a chat to Glenn, Max, to Glenn Maxwell. Maxwell still got to wait for to face his first ball. Oh, really good there. It, they could. This could be. Free, it could be free if they're quick. No, they're not. So it's going to be just the two. So again. So again, Glenn Maxwell have to wait to get on strike. Now I wonder now if Maxwell's now in the now in. I I wonder if they're going to take the power surge at the end of this over. It's 41 from 20 needed to win. And the way that Burns is going, and it's another two. So again, Maxwell has to wait for that first for that. First delivery, surely Maxwell in the wicket saying, please don't get a single. Please don't get a single this ball, probably Maxwell saying. And it looks like it might, it might happen. No, no, they come back for two. So, um, so the 75 over, and it's 150, 150 up for the Stars. 150 for two, and I wonder... If the power surge might get taken, I wonder. Spencer Johnson to come back on. No, uh, no, they don't take it. So they're waiting maybe till the 18th or the 19th over to take it. As Maxwell hits his first ball for four, that's not surprising. The big show doing what the big show does. And that's hit, hit a full first ball. And silence. At the at the Gabums, which is surprising, considering it's Glenn Maxwell it's at the bat. So what will young Spencer Johnson do in response? And that is be hit for six. A really good shot that one from Glenn Maxwell. Just held it on its way. This is this is what the what the Melbourne Stars needed. You see, 10 off two, a 97 metre six, 10 from the first, from his first two balls, and now they're in striking distance. And it's another four. It's another boundary from Glenn Maxwell. He's 14 from three now. Very, very good shot stairs. This one, Kawaja goes straight to his young fast bowler. For encouragement, and suddenly now, yeah. and wax it there as Maxwell hits it for a single. So Joe Burns now, now so six four four six four one uh, four six four one. And it will be another dot, so Maxwell will be on strike for the last ball of the 18th. Very good innings, 63 from 42. 
striking at 150 with only the one four to his name, that's proof that you, can, you don't have to hit ban- have so many boundaries to, to have a good innings in the in big bat cricket. And a, and a dot ball, so that's a, ver- that's a very good outcome from Spencer Johnson. Last ball. So Joe Burns will have to be on strike for the first ball. And here is the power surge. So, not surprisingly, they were waiting for it automatically to get, get called. So, I wonder if finally Joe Burns will add to his tally. And yes, he does. He goes first ball. First ball four. And finally, that long-awaited second boundary for Joe Burns breathes a big sigh of relief. <laughs> Must be a big sigh of relief for Joe Burns. Finally gets that second boundary. Realistically, realistically though, surely the Ford is getting max on strike. Yep. On edge. Outside edge, that could go for four, is it? Yes, it will. Two fours in a row from uh, from the first two balls of the power surge. Ideally, not as great as, as the two sixes from the Brisbane Heat's power surge, but still a decent enough start. They're in touching distance now. 13 from 10 for Joe Burns. And it's straight down the ground. And it will be a single, so Glenn, so Glenn Maxwell to to face up to Mitch Swepson. I think he, we're all probably thinking where he's going to hit this. Probably we're all thinking of it. No, it's uh, no, it's an inside edge, an outside edge, straight to the man. I think it's a fly slip. Looks like a bit of a fly slip or a short third man. Two balls to go in the first power play, in the first power search over. And here it is, there it is. Glenn Maxwell whacking it over the covers for four. So three fours in that over for, so far for Mitch Swips. And there's one ball to go, by the way. Glenn Maxwell is seeing is seeing the stars home. Wax it over cover. Really good. That one from Glenn from Glenn Maxwell. And here he goes again. Could it be all the way. It does. They're two away now on the, uh, the Melbourne Stars. Glenn, Ma- Glenn Maxwell says, uh, says, you know what, Marnus, I saw you hit a couple of sixes over cover. I can, I can do it too. And he did. So just like that, they need two runs to win from the final over. And it's going to be Spencer Johnson that will that will be that will bowl it. That is going to be tough here, and it's going to be a wide. So now scores level. Wide called by Ross Simons. Well, no, it was three runs. Sorry, 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 three runs to win. I should say. Now it's two away. Oh. And it's another wide, so now now it is scores level. Oh no, it's not. It, no, it's not. They won it. it. They win it for some for some reason. There was a bit gl- glitch there from the scoreboard. So the stars win this match by eight wickets. A very good run chase indeed by the Melbourne Stars. Very ca- a, a, a bit of a high scoring match. Uh, match. Uh, let's put it that way. Very good innings from both Burns and Rogers before the big hitting of the big show. Glenn Maxwell saw them home in a re- in a in a really good encounter here at the Gabba. As you can see, here yeah, there's the scorecard. 
and Uzbek Kawaja named player of the match for his, for his outstanding classy knock of 92 off night out of 63. And you see here with the Stars innings, Tom, uh, Tom Rogers, very good with his 60, 62 from 44, as well as Joe Burns, who is, who is great knock of 72 from 45. He only hit one boundary before the power surge, and then he, and then he topped off with two fours. So he ended with three fours in that innings of 72 from 45. And then Glenn Maxwell finished it off with 25 off, off eight deliveries, as you can see. You can see the knee start from his four overs, very good, very good. None for, one for 26 from his four overs, but 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 beyond that, there was car there was there was carnage there. You can see you can see Bartlett going at Bartlett, Swetson, Johnson. And Munro all going for ten runs and over, and Paul Walter going for just over, just under nine and a half per over. So, as we go back to the card, here, as you can see the result is in this match. The, the Melbourne Stars win match one of the Cricket 22 BBL uh, Big Bash League season by eight wickets with uh, with six. Balls to spare. I hope I hope you guys enjoyed that. Enjoy that commentary. Please thumbs up this video if you want to see more. If you want to see more of more of the, this type of commentary, um, yeah, yeah, and also comment down below as well if you if, 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 down below your feedback on, on my on my commentary. Um, it really it really helps me if if I'm doing the right thing with, with these commentaries and. And one last and last thing, somewhere down there, uh, click on the big red button, which is which is which is labeled subscribe. Uh, until until next time, uh, until next time, guys. Uh, I'll see you guys later. See you guys. Yeah, see you guys later. As I said, uh, the news from the, from the Gabba, the Melbourne Stars win this match, the opening match, by by eight. We get.